Like Brexit itself, this has been one long journey. A 450 kilometer march across England through the countryside towards London. For these leave voters, the finish line can't come soon enough, and neither can Brexit. So that's it, forget the talks, we're out. I don't know how long it's going to take, but we will keep fighting. Their destination? A divided parliament on the very day Britain was set to leave the EU. We were supposed to be having a party tonight, instead we're having a wake. What our politicians are saying to us is, shut up and sit down. The marchers picked up some friends along the way. Many thousands, like a crowd at a music festival, but the show's been postponed. Helicopters are hovering overhead. Police have closed down the street here. There's a real feeling of turmoil because of all the uncertainty about what could happen next. Brexit supporters feeling betrayed by their own government. You've ruined it. They've ruined it. Brexit! What do you want? No! And as angry as ever at the EU. I feel blackmailed, like we've either had to accept the deal the punitive deal that the European Union have laid before us on their terms or nothing, there's no Brexit. They're completely out of touch with the common man in the street. Yes, some took extreme measures to show their rage, a sign the tipping point leading to deeper unrest may not be far off. It started with a vote three years ago and support has slipped since then. With so many setbacks, they're losing patience, fearing they'll lose Brexit. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, London.